Okay guys, so we have got everything ready to put onto the trays. And as I was looking into the box to get rid of it, I also found that there was actually a ration heater with the bag. But since I'd already put the entree into a pan on the stove, I'm going to hold on to that for further time. I like using the heater bag. I love doing it. But I didn't see it until after it was too late. So, let's go on ahead and get the water in here. That way that can be steeping and um, dissolving. The, this is the chicken broth. So we'll get that get that going that way that can be good and ready let's go on ahead and give it a good stir So we'll set this aside, let that be dissolving real well. And here is the vitamin C cherry drink. Now mind you, because I couldn't find interpretation, I am guessing basically on how many ounces. So if it's weak, that's my bad. But It'll still be good. Let's give that a good stir. Get that dissolved. So we'll set that aside. Okay, let's, yeah, I got that good and hot, so we'll just kind of squish it along here in the bag, kind of get it mixed. Okay, I don't think I <laughs> Okay, there is no tear notch. You can get those scissors, please. Here. I got this pouch really good and hot, guys. I can't even hardly handle it. for hubby and I brought out a big spoon to get the rest out and I have to say you guys are absolute pros when it comes to doing this stuff you're not all shaky and a mess so bravo to you all don't bravo forget, don't forget to mention it's chicken and buckwheat this is chicken and buckwheat, which my husband could speak up and say if he would. That's why he's here. Not only my guest eater, <laughs> he's my assistant. Okay. Now let's get a couple of these crackers out from me and him both. He hasn't tried any of these either. I look forward to trying these biscuits. Now I've heard tell that you have got to attempt to eat with your back teeth because they are harder than rocks. They sound like it. You can also, you know, you can also place them in your stew or something like that. Too. So, hubby's got one and we'll probably apply some of the honey on our biscuits after a while here. And mind you, he gets these old hazelnuts. So those are his. I'm sure he will enjoy. Open them up so you can see them. 
These are to see how they look inside. So let's, let's go on ahead and take a gander. So that's what they look like. Well, at least Pretty interesting. You ought to try a couple. I will put one on my tray. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, no, I'm not that brave. Okay, as he had said, these are buckwheat and chicken. So that ought to be pretty interesting. Hubby wants me going ahead and split the chocolate bar. Ain't nothing wrong with doing that, too. Hey, I'm going ahead and get this out of the way. Mm, it looks like it's been somewhat oxidized. Hot blooming. So, but that doesn't affect the quality of chocolate, not one bit. It's still good. They call it blooming. So, let's see here if I, yeah, no problem. There we go. You ought to point out it was two chocolate bars. It, it was not two. Oh, okay, so yeah, it was split. Bars. In that case, give me my half and I'll give you yours. <laughs> yeah. We'll make it fair. You get a hole, I get a hole. He was right. They were two. I was wrong. I thought it was one thick block. You need to get your plate ready. I'm mad at After we try this before it gets cold. <laughs> Man, I thought you said you heated it up early. I did, but it will get cold. Okay. So this is what it looks like. You can see that you can see the buck grate and as you can tell there's a little bit of chicken in there. So let's you get, gave me let's all the chicken. You got a big chunk of chicken now. There's a big chunk mm, for There's you. chicken in mine too. Okay. That is not bad flavor, y'all. That is not bad flavor at all. He had a big hunk of chicken here. So, I'm, okay. going, I'm going to try it with the piece of chicken. That chicken's got a lot of flavor. This is good, guys. It's very good. Both Sticky Finger and Smokey told me it's a good deal with the Lithuanian ones. Oh, one more bite. Mmm. Yes. That is so very good. Oh. These are kind of hard even. Okay. Now I'm going to try a sip of the cherry drink. Yep, and it tastes similar to a regular Kool-Aid. Now let's see if we can take a sip of this broth. It feels like it's still hot, but we should be able to sip it. How's the broth look? There's a lot of herbs in there. And the flavor, it, it's not like your regular bouillon. It's really good. What do you think so far? Pretty good. Uh, that, that gives you, that's plenty of salt too in there too for your electrolytes. Mm-hmm. And what do you think about the Kool-Aid? I think you should add less water. Otherwise, it was good. Uh, yeah, but we don't want it over sweet. Okay, yes, the honey is actually crystallized, but once again, just like the chocolate, it doesn't affect the quality. So let's smear a little bit of this crystallized honey on this biscuit. Mm. 
The smell of the biscuit reminds me of a teething biscuit for a baby. Only a teething biscuit isn't as hard. Okay. I would, try, I would try it plain first so you can taste what the biscuit tastes like. I'm going to try it first with the honey. Mm. It's pretty good with the honey, guys. That's pretty good. I like these. These are I like, but I like also like like hearty bread. So it's kind of reminds you of the hearty bread, you know. That honey is good too. And it doesn't taste like what you would get here in the United States. The honey is very delicious. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now I'm going to try the biscuit on the side without the honey. Yeah, there's not very much flavor to the biscuit. It smells like a baby teething biscuit, but it doesn't taste like one. So it's definitely good with the substance on it. It probably tastes just as good being dunked into the broth, which I may try with the second biscuit since there's four in the pack me and hubby gets to a piece so this one i'll eat with some honey and the other one i'll try in the broth pretty good with the with the buckwheat and, uh, you want to try to dip some in the broth no, I mean, this came out pretty good they didn't have any pepper or anything in there at all. Nope. Okay. Double check that. Nope, just matches in the ripes and looks like it also came with a no no, that's a tie if you wanna tie up your bag. Yeah. That way you don't leave and, and the and the burner blocks. Fuel tablets, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah the biscuit with the honey is pretty good. The hazelnuts are good, but they're salt-free. That'd be bad mine. Now, y'all, this is going to be the first time I've ever tried a hazelnut. I've tried hazelnut like Nutella, but I've never tried an actual hazelnut. So you, this is my first. You sure you haven't? They're in the mixed nuts and the planters. No, because I don't eat mixed nuts. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. I wouldn't eat them on a regular basis, so I think I'd rather eat them when they're fixed up as a, as like a, a spread. Okay, now let's try the chocolate. The chocolate's not too bad. It's not pure milk chocolate. You can tell that there's a little bit straight cocoa in it, but it's not a it's not that bitter. And there is some milk chocolate to it. It looks like it's just it tastes kinda of like a 50-50. It, it's really it's got a very good flavor to it. It's not over sweet. And it's smooth. So, yeah, that's really good chocolate, guys. So, before I give my overall on this, I am going to try this dipped into the broth. I think the broth is really good. I, I, I like it. Yeah, that broth, 
And where it's got the herbs in it, it's not your typical bouillon. It's really mm -hmm. got a good flavor to it. Well, and where we're at, so, where we're at with a lot of heat and everything, there's a lot of the salt's good. And yeah. The taste good. Yeah. So I dipped the biscuit into the broth. Yeah, either way it goes, the biscuit's good either with the honey or dipped in the broth. It's good. Hubby said he liked his biscuit with the with the barley and the chicken. So, overall, I'm going to say that I'm very satisfied with this meal. Um, you know, we've still got this this mixed berry energy gel to try. So. They gave it to us free. That's part of the U.S. Army. It's a U.S. Army ration. Well, let's go on ahead and get us a little bit of this, too. Yeah, if you want, well, you're going to have to. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just putting it in. Okay. So the only we... thing I would add is that me as a spice lover, I mean, I know that most of the, the, the rations are supposed to be bland, but if they'd had some hot sauce, that would have made the, my opinion, my opinion. The buckwheat and chicken a little bit spicier yeah that that's how my hubby works he's got to put hot sauce in everything it don't matter what it is i don't put it in my cereal yeah, except for this cereal we'll I don't excuse the cereal either. i don't put it on my ice cream either folks that smells delicious i mean it says it's berry and it smells like raspberry i mean i may be wrong but i think that's like off of something like a first strike ration or something it'll come out Just a little on the runny side where it's been in the heat. We probably should have. We probably should have. Uh, I should have. I probably should have meated it, but that's okay. We could still taste the. We could still taste it. <laughs> so. Okay. I'm gonna do this because I poured it left hand. I poured it into my left. Okay. So this is what it is. Let's try it. Wow. That's rich, guys. That is rich. That is an overpowering, rich, sugary. That's rich. It's good, but it's rich. So, anyway, I have to say, overall, with the entire MRE, the... Lithuanian. Um, I loved the flavor of everything. The barley and the chicken. The biscuit with the honey or dipped into the broth. It's actually got more flavor with the honey spread on it. Uh, but for a more subtle flavor, I think I'd rather have it in the broth. And the added packet of the energy gel, as I said, it's very rich. And the chocolate is very good. I love the chocolate. The Kool-Aid that hubby's just about got gone is, in my opinion, very good. I love the taste of the broth, me and husband both. Uh, as I said, it doesn't taste like your typical bouillon. The herbs in it really gives it an extra great flavor. And uh, the hazelnuts, is definitely all his. I'm not eating any more of the hazelnuts. I liked everything. I thought the hazelnuts were just average, other than that. But that's the only thing that's really not special. You know, I mean, it's just like hazelnuts. Now, as it was, they did get at a sugar packet, but there wasn't anything in here that needed sugar. So I've got an extra sugar pack to add to my whatnots, which is fine. We're going to hold on to the uh, cooking plate and the heating tablets, plus the heating bag and the um, the matches, because who knows, maybe one of these days we'll actually go camping. Why don't we try the wet wipe and see how it is, and then we can see how, it's strong, how strong it is in it. All right. Everybody likes to do the wet wipe. Um, you can tell my husband's been watching every one of Yen's. And you see what, what, what color are the matches, what tips are they, are they blue? Yep, he's been watching all of them. <laughs> they usually like to see if it strikes real well too. 
If you could do me a favor in the comments, say for him to start his own channel, because I think he would be awesome. He could do these reviews too. He would be great. Now look here, we have got blue tip, blue tip matches. That's cute. I've never seen blue tips. You wanna see if they strike up on the first strike? Yeah, he's really been watching this. <laughs> the sticks are a lot thinner than what we get around here. First strike. Pretty good. I smell a different than the ordinary matches here, too. Nope. I think it smells the same. Like a fresh lit candle. Alright, let's take a look at the wrap. Gotta make sure it smells as fresh and lemony as it says. It says refreshing. Oh yeah, love the smell of that. Oh yeah. I love lemon it's wipes. Got, I love anything scented lemon. It smells like pledge kind of, almost. Almost. It's the same kind of smell to it. It's definitely good and wet. That's nice. Okay, you see, after you're done. Now my hands smell good. After you're done, you're supposed to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, like I said, he's been watching every one of you. Every single one of you. And he done the test you all did. And as you could see, it tore up. Probably because I already wiped my hands on it. <laughs> so, anyway. Yep, we're very pleased with the meal. It turned out good. And that is, that's it, guys. I want to give a shout out to Old Smokey. I love you, bro. You're awesome with your work. And I uh, give a shout out to Sticky Fingers 745. You're good too, man. I love the both of you. And this is it for today. Bye, gang. <laughs>